Good morning, everybody. Hello, hello. It's Thursday, February 8th, 2024, and my name is Jennifer Cotton. I am a Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Midlothian, Texas. That means I teach people how to make greeting cards, scrapbook pages, gift packaging, and more with stamps, ink, paper, and lots of cool tools. So good morning and welcome. Thank you for being here, whether you're coming back or it's your first time. Thank you very much. Um, like I said, my name is Jennifer Cotton. I've been a Stampin' Up! demonstrator 22 years now. This is my full-time business. So um, I offer lots of stuff, lots of events, um, videos, etc. I offer a lot. So let me real quick put up um, something on the screen here just to let you know later today I will add timestamps over in YouTube only. And that will allow you to skip around to the portion of the video that you would like to see. Um, that's in the description. Click more or show more to see that. And then over here tomorrow, February 9th, I will add a link to my blog, which is stamptherapist.com. Um, so that's information. Good morning to Sue. First one here. Gloomy, but unseasonably warm. Green Bay, Wisconsin. So great to see you, Sue. Sue was just on our crafting cruise, so I got to meet her in person, and now I really know who Sue is when I see you on these videos. Um, so happy to see you here over on YouTube. Um, let's see, North Carolina, Janet in North Carolina, good morning, good to see you. Jackie, good morning. Pat, good morning to you. Julie, good morning in Alvaton, Kentucky. Oma, watching until you have to leave. Love it, Oma. Uh, Mary Ann, good morning to you. Lots of emojis there. <laughs> I'm trying to see that last one. Oh, the waving hand. Thank you, Mary Ann. Good morning. Um, let's see. Kylie, good morning over on YouTube. Julie, February 9th is your birthday tomorrow. Happy birthday, Julie. Everybody tell Julie happy birthday. Um, Corinne, thanks for sharing. Debbie, good morning from work in Irving. Love it. Okay, so um, today, later today, I'll be making three cards with this bundle, the Ice Cream Swirl Bundle. Um, I think you're going to love it. I love this bundle. I've made two different classes with it, today's and another one that I'll sneak peek you. And um, I think you're going to love this bundle if you don't have it yet. So put it on your list. I will be making three cards. And if you would like a chance to win those cards, make sure you make a comment on this video Facebook, YouTube, replay, right now, any of that counts to win, to have a chance to win the cards. And um, if you share the video, both of those things help me commenting, liking, thumbs up, subscribing, uh, following, et cetera. It all helps me. But it, sharing the video helps me too. But I won't know you shared it in most cases unless you comment that you shared. Just like who said that earlier, Corinne. So um, so thank you for sharing it, Corinne, and make sure you comment that you did that so you can be entered a second time. Um, Linda, good morning in Idaho, France. Good morning. Another cruise friend. Uh, Terry, good morning to you. Sandy, good morning. Thank you. Yes, I, my video is messing up. My, um, I don't think it's my internet, but my I don't know. Something's giving me trouble this morning before I even started. So we'll see how it goes. But hopefully it's only this face camera, not the hand camera. Is it pop, is it like um, being delayed for you guys? I can't tell. Anyway, um, Julie, thanks for sharing. Landa, good morning. Bonnie, good morning. Lori, good morning in Minnesota. Liked and shared. Thank you. Sandy, good morning. Um <laughs> Pat, thanks for sharing. And Denise, good morning in Colorado. Okay, so I am going to tell you guys about my events. This camera is doing. Stacy, good morning. Thank you for sharing. Yeah, my mouth and words don't go together. Exactly. I'm not sure how to fix it. Um, okay, so my, uh, I have events coming up. I have lots of events coming up. Anyone in the United States can take them. And Anyone in the world can take the tutorials only. All of my events are going to include a written PDF tutorial with step-by-step -step detailed instructions. We cut, die cut, punch, and emboss everything possible unless otherwise stated in the event. 
Um, you will cut your own designer paper or kit components if those are included. You, like I said, can get the tutorials only anywhere in the world. And to do that, you're going to want to uh, register for the tutorials during the class registration time. So just click that class link and don't worry, it doesn't automatically sign you up for a class. You have to fill out a lot of information and pay. Um, otherwise, it's just nothing. So uh, you can see the price there of the tutorials only. Okay, so every month I do four classes every single month, card class, scrapbook class, stamp a stack and sampler. Um, they have an in person on one day and they are mailed to go a couple days later. So anyone can take these. I just named them all. They are happening Saturday, February 17th in person and mailed February 20th. Okay, so the first two card and scrapbook are $20 free with a $20 order. They are also a club you can join and you just place a $20 order for six months in a row at the club time with the club host code and you will get a gift from me at the end. And of course, you'll get the projects. So card class is four cards. Uh, we may, sorry, this month we're using the watercolor melon stamp set and the beautiful, I'm sorry, bright skies bundle, bright skies bundle. So four cards, two from each stamp set or bundle. Scrapbook is three 12 by 12 pages, um, two that match, one that doesn't. And then the next month we'll make the matching one plus two more, and it goes on like that all year. Again, these are clubs you can join. It's $20 free with a $20 order, three 12 by 12 pages. And this month we're using painted lavender and excellent eggs. And we will be making Easter and spring pages. So uh, register for those by February 15th, but they are while supplies last. We usually do run out of those. So register sooner rather than later, but the 15th at the latest. And of course, if I you register and I don't have any left, I'll let you know. Um, hey, Debbie, thanks for sharing. Mary Ann is watching on Facebook. Love it. Cindy, good morning to you. Um, I'm not sure if my mouth, if my camera still messed up, but hopefully when I point it down, it'll be fine. Let me check. Maybe. Ooh, it seems like it's slow too. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> anyway. Um, okay, the next two are Sampler class and Stamp A Stack class. They are a subscription club you can join. You get over $20 in merchandise every single month. You get step-by-step -step tutorial. You get the supplies cut, die cut, punched, and embossed ready for you to stamp and assemble. You can attend in person or you can take it to go. Um, if you don't want to join the club, I just had someone comment in my VIP group this morning. I want to take the sampler class, but not join club. There's a link for that. It costs $2 more. You can take the class, either of these classes individually. A lot of my club members, like a sampler club member, will add on stamp a stack, but not join the club or vice versa as well. So you can do all that stuff. Anyway, um, Either one, join the club or just take the class. The deadline is this Sunday, February 11th. That's your deadline. I have not made the stamp stack cards yet, but we're using the stippled roses bundle and we will be making 12 cards, four designs, three of each, over 20 in merchandise, PDF tutorial, etc. cetera. Um, so that's stamp stack Join, it's uh, by the way, $35 for club members, 37 for non. And then sampler, I did get made yesterday. I think it's super cute. It's an Easter sampler for, uh, or using the Excellent Eggs Bundle, $35.37 for non-club members. Join or register by February 11th. By the way, make sure you're on my email mailing list. You can join it right now up here in Facebook, down here in YouTube. So you get the links sent directly to your inbox. However, you can also join my VIP Facebook group. Uh, it's like Jennifer Cotton's VIP customer group or something um, to get those links as well. Okay, so here is a sneak peek of the Easter sampler. Super cute. You're going to be able to decorate your home with it. Give it as a gift. Uh, these are This one is seasonal, so you can put it up for a month and then take it down and, and take it out of the frame and put a new one in. Love it. Like we had a Valentine one last month. Super cute. Well, in my opinion, super cute way to decorate your home. And they make great gifts. People will love you grab them a 12 by 12 shadow box and give it to them as a gift. They will love it. Okay, so that's the sampler class. Sign up by Sunday. 
you need the links, let me know. Um, hey, V in rainy Southern California. By the way, where's, thank you, Sandy. She said everything looks good now. Um, it's supposed to rain this weekend here. It's Thursday. I think it's going to rain Saturday and Sunday all weekend. <laughs> um, but it's like mild weather as well, temperature wise, like it's 57 right now. So it's mild here in Texas where I am. Okay, next up, the Jen and Jen stamp camp. Well, let me see if I have any sneak peeks I'm supposed to be putting on the screen. This was the sampler sneak peek that I posted in my Facebook group yesterday. There you go, sneak peek. And then the Jen and Jen stamp camp, I really feel that you're going to feel like you missed out if you don't take this class. We're using the up in the air, I mean the hot air balloon bundle, where you'll make 10 projects. You'll get a goodie bag of you know, product to complete your projects. We cut, die, cut, punch, and emboss everything possible. You will use your stamps to stamp and assemble at home. There'll be a Facebook group to go along with the camp where you can um, have a chance to win prizes and participate with other members. This does not include videos for the projects. It's PDF tutorials, but we have the Facebook party and we do bonus videos in that party where we um, will show you a, each Genevieve and I. Genevieve goes in Canada. I'm in the U.S. and we will each show a new different project on the bonus video. Um, so it's a lot of fun and of course you get 10 projects and it's a whole stamp camp. So you can take that. You can sign up now through February 15th is your deadline. It is happening. The Facebook party is March 2nd. I did not write down when I'm mailing the kits but before March 2nd. <laughs> I didn't write it down. It's in the registration. All the info is in the link. And you don't, again, you're not automatically registered. If you click that link, you have to fill out a lot of info and answer questions and pay. So you can click that link to get all the details. And it'll be in my 1 p.m. email today. Just scroll to the bottom for all of the event links. Um, anyway, you do not have to be present March 2nd. You can, but you don't have to. You'll still complete everything as normal. So it'll be fine. Um, also, within the camp, but offered also individually, just click the camp link if you only want to take my class or Jen's class or both of those or the camp in one class. There's two classes. So we have the, oh, wait, I was going to show you. Hold on. Before I go to that, here's the sneak peek of my five cards. I don't have Genevieve's. I have not had time to make hers, but they're super cute. Um, but these are my five camp cards. So Jen and Jen. Get ready for spring stamp camp. You're going to make these adorable cards. Very springy in colors. A few fun folds in there. A couple of shaker cards. A couple of different shaker cards. She made one as well. Um, super cute. I highly recommend this class. Okay. Then I'm offering the um, ice cream swirl class six cards. It includes the stamp set, but don't worry, you can make a substitution right there in the registration. Um, six cards. And then Genevieve is offering the cutest cows card class, six cards. There's only four pictured there um, because she's in Canada and I'm here and that's all I could get at the time. And I haven't had time to make a new graphic, but there's six. She made some adorable cards. So um, you can take her class, my class, camp, or mix and match all you want with that one link. Register by February 15th for those. And by the way, you can combine shipping for those and the next class I'm going to tell you about, which is bingo. Okay, so this is the swirl class. Okay, first of all, Genevieve and I are both kind of obsessed with Disney. Oh, speaking of that, I would like to announce that I did earn the Disney incentive trip at the beginning of February. And that is thanks to you guys, my customers, my team, my customers and my team. <laughs> it's because of y'all. Um, so in 2025, I guess, I will be going to Disney on Stampin' Ups <laughs> Pocket. And we're both obsessed with Disney. And so this is my Dole Whip card. If you know, you know, that's the Dole Whip card. I made it specifically because of Disney. Uh, okay, this is the class. You can take six cards. I forget the price of the class, but it's there in the link. And um, <laughs> thank you, Sue. And that's my Disney card. Okay, 
So I've got some fun folds in here. I've got, it's just, I think they're really cute. You're gonna make donuts, lots of ice cream, lots of ice cream. So that's that class, sign up now, February 15th is the deadline. And then don't forget about cutest cows, which I don't have those samples here either as well, whatever, but uh, you know. Okay, and then bingo. So everybody's been asking me about bingo. You can sign up now. <laughs> bingo is happening on, did I write it down? February 29th on Zoom. Anyone in the United States can participate. We will use the Excellent Eggs Bundle. Here is a sneak peek here. Um, four projects. You will need to own the bundle for this one because it's a lot of die cutting. And let me give you a sneak peek here. So you're going to make four projects. One is not a card. And then three cards. They're super cute. Easter. You can change it to spring, but they do all have eggs on them, I think. I think they all have eggs. No, one has rabbits and two have eggs. Um, so how, what is bingo? It is a card class that you take to go. You will get on the Zoom on that day, February 29th and at 6 30 p.m central and we'll play some games for door prizes you'll get to a chance to win a lot of dollars in prizes uh, and then after we play the games we'll stamp together so you can stay on and stamp talk to me talk to other stampers give each other tips we'll make the projects together and it's just a lot of fun i think it's for me one of my most fun events because uh, you get one-on-one -on -one time, not only with me, but with the other stampers and actual where you can be like, hey, Lori, if Lori was there, hey, Lori, how did you do that on that card you just showed us or whatever? Y'all get, hopefully you get the picture. Um, so I think that's mainly what it is about bingo and it's on Zoom. So any questions, let me know. Register by February 15th. It happens on February 29th. And remember, you can sign up for Stamp Camp and Bingo and only pay shipping once. I will mail them on the same day. So, and there's info in the registration on both of them for that. Okay. Um, has Stampin' Up! gone to Disney before? Yes, Lori. We went, I don't remember the year because I'm the worst at that, but we stayed at the Boardwalk Resort. It was amazing. I did not know Genevieve then. I actually met her for the first time on that trip, but I did not make a good impression. That's a whole another story. <laughs> but um, thank you, Cindy. Anyway, it was amazing because when Stampin' Up! gives you an incentive trip, it's not just like you go to Disney or you go to a cruise. You go do that. Plus, they have extra stuff events that where the whole park is closed down for Stampin' Up! or a dinner in a restaurant that's only Stampin' Up! gifts on your bed every day. So it's awesome. So, but this time we're staying at the Grand Floridian. So Stampin' Up! does these trips right. That is one of the nicest, if not the nicest hotel at Disney, Grand Floridian. Anyway, so they have done it before um, to answer your question, Sue. Uh, Linda, thank you. Saying welcome home. Juanita, hello in California. <laughs> Love the smiley face, Debbie. Love it. Cindy, thanks for sharing. And Sherry in Indiana, Southeast Indiana. Good morning. Cindy Owen says love bingo. And Cynthia Ford, good, good afternoon for you. Um, okay, so real quick, uh, in-person retreats. You can still sign up for March 28th, 2024 in Temple, Texas. Um, you will get an eight-foot table. You'll get a bed to sleep in. You will get... Um, a goodie bag of Stampin' Up! product, 10 or more make and takes, and you'll be able to use April and Mai's stamps, ink, etc. to complete those projects. You'll also be offered two additional add-on classes that are optional. You can take those right there at the retreat with our stamps and ink and stuff so you don't have to own them. Um, this will be offered to go, and that will be coming out soon. April and I just have to get our stuff together. We were going to try to work on it on the cruise. Yeah, that did not happen. We were very busy. By the way, our crafting cruise was last week. If you missed that, um, it was amazing. Check out the Simply Spoiled Retreats Facebook group for pictures, as well as my Facebook page, my, my business Facebook page. 
Uh, but we had a great time. It was awesome. Um, anyway, I forgot why I said that. But, oh, April and I did not have time to talk about this retreat. <laughs> it just did not work out. But um, we'll be getting our stuff together soon and putting those links out so you can register for the to-go version. Uh, we're, I know we're using the lavender suite for the retreat make and takes, but the um, two classes, we haven't decided yet. We actually did talk about that for a minute and we both were like, yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do. So we'll figure that out. March 28th, though, in person. Okay, and we just came back from our cruise. I did not update my pictures here because I haven't had time, but uh, where are the pictures? way at the back here um but this was year before this one some of us on the cruise there's our group photo cropping tables they look very similar this was just a slightly more modern uh and larger conference room um i have had a request like not a request but a comment that they that someone wouldn't like only having half a table and we don't do that to restrict you guys at all. The cruise line says we'll give you 30 tables total. <laughs> and we're like, okay, we need tables for this display, this, we need class tables and whatever's left is how many people we can hold. So that's what determines that part. But I would say if you were on the cruise, let us know how, like how it was for you um, having that half a table from what I saw, everybody was perfectly fine with it. And a lot of them were sitting next to a friend so they could kind of share that space. But let us know. Let us know what you think. Encourage our friends who haven't cruised yet that they can do it with half a table. <laughs> um, are you going to do a cruise haul? Cindy, not today. Um, April and I are going to try to get together live on one video and do that. I actually have a box. Y'all can't see it, but it's over there on this countertop where the big die cut machine is. It's over there. Um, full of the stuff for that video. Oops, sorry. Hello, Angelique. So um, we're hoping for next week for that due to coming back from the trip. Super, both of us being super busy. Um, <laughs> Marianne says at home, I'm lucky to have a fourth of a table. Is that literally not the truth, Marianne? So true. <laughs> I love it. Cheryl, it was no problem with half a table. Brought clear shelves that went up for storage. Yes, Cheryl. Very smart. Cheryl was with us year before last. I think she was in one of those pictures I just showed you. <laughs> and um, oops, I keep clicking Cindy. Yay, that's a better idea. Thanks. <laughs> um, anyway, so yeah, so uh Long story short about me talking about the cruise is sign up for 2025 now. We're going on Harmony of the Seas. The ship was amazing out of Galveston, Texas, and you can register for it right now. Many people on this ship registered, you know, on this cruise register for next year already, including me, April, Landa, etc. And um, so we're ready to go. And you're going to love the ship if you've never been on it. It's so nice. And the show is Greece. It was really good. Anyway, I could go on and on. but. Watch for a video for me in April. I'll, I will announce it. Okay, last but not least on events, believe it or not, is um, Alejandra Gomez and I, she's a team member, are hosting a demonstrator-only event in Houston, Texas on March 14th. This is 9 a.m. It includes breakfast, and it will end by 1 p.m. with giving you plenty of time to go over and uh, do all the Stampin' Up! stuff. And so this includes continental breakfast, card class that you can use at your events. Um, we are going to use the, I have to look at the name here, a brand new suite of products called if I can find it, Latte Love. Latte Love. By the way, we're almost sold out. So if you want to register for that, Get off the video and do it now. <laughs> um, I've emailed it out. Brittany, yes, you should go. Um, I've emailed out the link and I can send it to you after the video as well. But, um, and it will be in my 1 p.m. email today. Okay, we will have lots of prizes. 
you'll get a selection of products to complete your the class but don't worry we're going to cut your designer paper and all that because you'll have limited time we'll we will cut for you but you'll receive some product with your fee um there's an optional swap you can participate in with a prize for a favorite swap downloadable pdf of course with pictures measurements and step-by-step -step instructions and a full supply list. It's at the Hampton Inn in Houston, registered by February 26th, so the deadline is coming up. And you can take that to go. If you're unable to attend Houston or you're in Houston, but you're not going to be there in time or you have other plans, you can take it to go. So all those options are in that registration link. Just don't forget we're almost sold out. So, <laughs> hey, Brenda, good morning. Ramona, good morning. Thanks for sharing. I'm trying to see if I missed anybody earlier. Darlin, good morning. Terry, good morning. In sunny Texas. Cynthia, good afternoon. Yes, that's where I think I left off. Okay. Um, so I do have some stuff to share today, like product wise, because we came out with some new product. We came out with some new celebration items while all this while we were on the cruise, February 1st. I just I found out something about the tools dies. So I'm going to show you that. So I'm going to point the camera down and show you all this, and then I'll get started on making my cards with the ice cream swirl bundle. So I'm going to point the camera down. Um, okay, so of course I have my glass mat studio here, right here. Um, you have less than a month to get this free. If you're not a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, you have one, two, oh, you have exactly three weeks let's write it down write it with my black stamp and write marker three weeks left um to get the glass mat studio free you pay 99 dollars. you choose 125 in any current stampin up merchandise you like and you get the $60 value mat for free. Now, if you don't want this, you can still get a great value through February 29th, $99 and pick 155 in any merchandise you want. Um, someone was asking me today, can they purchase the glass mat studio? No, at this time you cannot purchase it. It's only free with the starter kit and um, free shipping, pay 99, pick 125, pay tax only on the 99. Anyway, they will sell what's left, but Stampin' Up! has not confirmed or denied if that will only be for demonstrators. So anyway, so you get the glass mat, great for stamping, blending inks on, uh, heat embossing, it's heat resistant, uh, like shatterproof glass, all that stuff. Then you get the, the silicone mat that goes with it that you can put, I'm afraid that ink's not dry. That's not quite dry yet. Um, you can put anywhere on the mat. This is Sharpie I have over here, which just comes off with hand sanitizer or stays on remover. And then you can uh, like clean off your ink, your, what are those called? Blending brushes, watercolor, I mean, water painters, <laughs> paint brushes, basically, et cetera. You can mix things in these things. You can store your little stamping spots in there and they don't fall out. This thing kind of sticks, etc. And then it comes with the chamois, which I have a paper towel in there just to help keep it damp. But the chamois, you just get it wet and you can wipe things off. Now the Sharpie, oh, that one was not Sharpie. Um, the Sharpie won't wipe off with water, stays on remover or alcohol. Um, the paper towel helps this because it does dry out quick because it's really thin, which is nice. I like it. It's almost like a wash rag. And this thing is just a container I own. Um, what was I saying? I don't know. I lost it. It comes with a chamois, though. <laughs> anyway, I keep this thing off of mine because I need all the space I can get. Okay, so get that free with the starter kit through the end of February. By the way, you'll be part of my team. You'll be able to take advantage of specials with stamping up and ordering early, etc. Okay, the next thing I want to show you guys is... I was on, I'm on a council with Stampin' Up. Um, Stella, good morning, no problem. And Tommy, let me put something, I'm just going to put something in front of here so that you're not staring at blank while I'm talking, even though I'm not talking about this. Um, I'm on a council with Stampin' Up. And long story short, I was 
we were talking about something. <laughs> and I was like, there is a die in the tools, the trusty tools bundle that I don't know what it is and I can't figure it out. And customers have suggested things to me, but I'm still not sure. Long story short, one of the girls on there sent me a picture that she got from another demonstrator. Elisa sent me the picture. Let me see if I can see who she said it was from. And she explained it to me also on the call. Where's Elisa right here? She thinks it was, I don't have it myself. She thinks it was Beck Ross, just to give credit. Okay, da, 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 da. here's the cap. This thing here that I didn't know what it was for, it goes on top of the pencil die and makes a pencil. <laughs> this piece right here, this yellow crushed curry piece. So I made one, I die cut the pencil part that has the point twice in pumpkin pie and black or pumpkin pie and um, crumb cake. And then I cut this once and that's the full piece, not trimmed down in crushed curry and you glue it together just like you glue these together and glue these together and it makes a pencil hello i don't know if y'all already figured that out that i still had not seen anyone use it this way but now i'm like finally i know what that's for so there you go i hope that helps somebody yeah clever apparently that was the intention of it the whole time but you know um, okay, I am going to show y'all new product. I want to remind you about celebration, of course. The pencil barrel, Sue. See, I didn't understand when people were saying it was a pencil. I was like, it's not a pencil. But of course, now I understand. And if I had been in the same room with somebody, they probably would have been like, look, Jennifer, it's this part. It's so funny. Anyway, um, so celebration. Is going on until the end of February. This is where you get a free gift with every fifty or one hundred dollars spent. No limit. Spend a hundred, pick two fifties, get um, one one hundred, spend one hundred fifty, pick whatever you want. There's no limits, no limitations. Now, if we run out of something, that will be the end of it. So get it while you can, or until February 29th. So we came out with this whole book, of course, at the beginning, and I've showed these products many times, but I have them in the basket here. And then February 1st, they came out with additional items from our catalogs and online store that you can pick. So now, in addition, you can still get all of this stuff. We ran out of one paper for a minute, and uh, but it came back. So as I... As of when I look this morning, I believe it's all still available here in the U.S. anyway. Each country is different. Okay. In addition to that, for free with 50, all these blue circles are 50, these peacock circles. Beside me stamp set. Botanical layers stamp set. This delightfully eclectic, that's probably the best deal on here. That is a like 48 sheets of 12 by 12 designer paper, very versatile. I've used it a ton, especially when the new catalog first came out. Um, you can get that free with 50. The Just Kidding, which is a great paper to have if you, just for, first of all, if you have kids, obviously, but if you don't have kids, you can have that on hand when you need that little kid card randomly, but you don't want to buy a whole bundle and suite of kid stuff. Um, it's really cute. Love this memory notebook kit. That is a like one of our kits. It's like this, all inclusive. I may have it here, but it's buried for me to dig out. The robot buddies kit, which I have right here. The stripes and splatters embossing folder. They're awesome. And then the sweet thoughts, memories, and more card cards and envelopes, which matches the sweet thoughts, memories, and more card pack. Um, free with a hundred. The core color markers. These are the mark, not Stampin' Blends, but the markers like I was using this black one on my glass mat. Um, so they're water-based markers. These are all the new colors that just came out or got re-released when the new book came out. And then finally, the Dragonflies punch, which coordinates with but does not punch out the Dragonfly on detailed dogwood. So you can get all that. Uh, through the end of February or unless they run out of something. Here is the Robot Buddies kit. This is also, again, great for kid cards. I could also see this being used at Halloween because, you know, a kid could dress up like a robot. Um, you get a stamp set. 
super cute. You can build all the different robots. You get two inks, Bermuda Bay and Pumpkin Pie. You get these eyeballs, stickers, like embellishments, but they look like eyeballs. Are they googly? Yes, they are. They wiggle. Dimensionals, of course, because these kits are all inclusive. So a clear block, of course, so you can give this to anybody as a gift and they will be able to use it right out of the box. The sheet here has instructions, of course. Um, and then there's two sheets of stickers. These stickers right here. Hello? Two sheets of that. Little word bubble stickers, I believe. Yes. Oh, no, they're not stickers. They're just punch outs. Some white pieces and then your card bases and envelopes that you'll need to complete the cards. Um, and you get all that free. Free, free, free. And there's the matching envelopes down there. Um, with a $50 purchase, no limit. Or uh, you can purchase this right now too. Anything on that sheet is, is for sale also if you'd rather just buy it. Okay. So uh, don't forget all this other stuff while supplies last. These, as far as we know, are not coming back. They're not coming back. They're while this promotion is happening. Now, I'll be honest, sometimes they bring embossing folders back. <laughs> they surprise us later. But as far as we know, they have not been told anything yet. They're not coming back. So all of these, the only way to get them is free with a purchase. Free with a purchase. I'm going to use this pool party ribbon today. Here's the embellishments, the opaque faceted gems. Here's what the embossing folder does. It's gorgeous. I'll have to make my little notes <laughs> which way to insert it into the folder. Um, and then the five designer papers trusty toolbox, of course. So get that now before the, it goes away. And you can still buy the toolbox bundle, but not that. Light and airy, most adored, so pretty. Valentiny gold foil, uh, sunny days, and softly stippled. Okay, so get it all now before you can't get it anymore. Or by February 28th at the latest. And put this away now. So I told you about all the new stuff. Oh, oh my gosh, I just want that camera real good. I mean, I told you about that new stuff. I'm going to remind you about my special I have going on, and then we're going to look at this new product. And then we'll almost be ready to stamp. <laughs> um, I have that robot card kit to, I gave that robot card kit to my three year old grandson for Christmas. He loves making birthday cards for his friends with it. I love it. That is from Janet. Yes. So these, the kits do make great gifts for. Um, children and relatives who don't craft because, they, again, they're all inclusive. Um, people in nursing homes, assisted living, friends you want to get into crafting, etc. And three-year-olds, as Janet just told us. Hey, Gian, good morning, Carol. Good morning. Thanks for sharing. Happy birthday, Julie. <laughs> this is from, let me see who it's from. That's from Pat. Carol in Connecticut, Angelique, finally, you couldn't figure it out. I'm so glad you, I, I'm, that I'm not alone, I should say. Solve the pencil. Yes. Jennifer, good morning. Corinne, good morning. Lori, Kitty Tail, exactly. I'm surprised she just walked away and didn't come back. Um, Sue, yes, we thought it, you thought it was a pencil. I didn't. <laughs> um, hey, Zanna, thank you. Okay, do the stamps that don't sell get recycled? Um, they, it's a whole thing, Lori, but yes, yeah, some of them get donated to charities and some have to get destroyed, but that's a business. There's business reasons for that. But yeah, that's pretty much what it is. Because if it was, well, if it was a one-time, you know, opportunity, then if you bring it back, that's almost like a lie, if you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, celebration, celebration. This is my incentive I'm offering to my customers as a thank you for supporting me during this biggest sale of the Stampin' Up! year. So during, from February, January 4th through February 29th, you can earn a free event from me that happens on March 7th on Zoom. 
you will get four stamping projects, a gift from me, and get to play games with a chance to win prizes. If you qualify, you have to fill out the survey so I can send you the invitation. Um, I will mail your class kits March 12th, and on Zoom, we'll play the games and demonstrate the project. So just note those dates. We do it on March 7th. I mail your kits about a week later due to my schedule. Um, earn this event three ways. If you place orders with me of $150 or more during celebration, you'll earn this event. Then go click the link and, and register. It's been emailed out. It's on my blog, stamptherapist.com, or you can ask me for the link. Um, or you can host an online or in-person party that reaches $150 or more. Of course, you'll be the host. You can get some free stuff from Stampin' Up! And we'll have fun. There's kit parties. There's regular parties, etc. Just let me know and we'll figure out what you want to do. And last but not least, take five qualifying classes for me during celebration. So some of these classes have passed already. Um, I will add bingo on there. I need to add bingo. Bingo. I'm going to write it right here. Bingo. Sign up for bingo and I'll let it count. Um, so five total. Stamp a stack. Remember, if you took this last month, it counts. Uh, sampler and my club members count. New catalog kickoff. Paper share. Get ready for spring stamp camp. Mega cruise retreat in a box. And bingo. If you take any of those, if you do five total, January, February, five, you'll get my event. Okay, so any questions, let me know. And, oh, I accidentally put it on my face. Um, and, yeah, I hope that uh, that I explained that well, but I do need to update this. I guess I forgot about bingo when I made the thing. All right, new product. So, uh, as you probably know by now, Stampin' Up! is releasing new products kind of quarterly. Let me see if I can find my thing. I printed out this schedule that they gave us demonstrators because. It gets confusing. Um, online exclusives come out three times a year. They are released in March, July, and November to customers. And demonstrators get to pre-order in the month ahead. We get to pre-order every single new product. Unless I get, didn't come in from the manufacturer or we buy it all <laughs> and they make more. Um, in the month before. So right now it's February. So those lines mean demonstrator pre-order. We get to pre-order a lot of stuff throughout the year. But anyway, that's what these are. And then they stay around for as long as they stay around. <laughs> There's not a deadline. <laughs> they might sell out. They might come back. They might not, etc. cetera. Um, so there are multiple stamp sets, dies, bundles. Like you see this picture here, it's a whole suite. So you, we can purchase individually the gems, the embossing folder, the stamp set, the dies, the designer paper. Same thing over here. You can't see it because it's kind of grayed out, but there's stuff down there. Um, or like bundle it, of course. And then there's a stamp set glimmer paper, emboss folder. So I'm going to show you what I bought, which was a lot, but not everything on here. Because, uh, you know, let's look at new product. Why not? So this first one is the fun patterns embossing folders. These are the, the three, I almost forget how many inches these are, and I've already used my ruler and lost it. Let me grab a different one. Three and one fourth inch wide by six and a fourth folders. They're the thin kind. We have thick and thin. These are the thin ones. It's called Fun Patterns. They look like that. And then here are the patterns embossed on paper. So we have like a diamond pattern and a sort of half uh, archway moon made out of dots and then a outline flower in the middle. And then those arches just continue like scallops sort of across and then they're offset on the next row but it's just a repeating pattern and then the diamonds are sort of dotted line larger diamonds and then inside each diamond is a more detailed diamond uh, so that's really cute uh, so demonstrators can get these now so if you get the starter kit right now you can add these to your starter kit right now get it now add these if you want or 
even better, as soon as you get the starter kit, you can purchase at a discount. Of course, I got a discount on all of this. And of course, I uh, got host benefits and celebration items. Okay, this is a whole suite here, the Simply Zinnia, if I'm saying it right, I have no clue. Let's cut open this paper, flowering Zinnias, 12 by 12 paper. So we have a, a bundle, gems, an embossing folder, and designer paper. And hopefully I'm not messing up anything, saying it's in the wrong suite, because I don't know. Hey, Mildred. Yes, Sue, being able to pre-order products is one of the uh, great perks of being a demonstrator. I agree, Sue. <laughs> I sent the form with my qualifying classes. Uh, Angelique, you won't get a notification. The invitation will be sent out. Like you won't get an auto notification from because the thing I use doesn't do that. Um, you will get an probably much closer to the deadline an email from me. So I'm sure you are good, Angelique. Mildred, hello. Okay, so let's look first at the bundle. Simply Zinnia. So obviously, if you know what a Zinnia looks like, you probably can picture these flowers. There's a larger flower. It's a red rubber set. Off ruler. Um, a larger single flower, about one and three fourths inches tall, and probably two inches, yep, wide. Um, that can sit on top of, and you can of course look. I cut it out. That can sit on top of this single two leaves. These are outline images, so you can color them in. You probably are going to want to color them in. Um, so there's two really detailed, lots of lines drawn on them, leaves. And you can die cut those out. Then there's a grouping. It's like a whole bunch of three of these flowers with stems, with leaves. Uh, they're, they are smaller than the others. The flowers are about one inch wide by one tall. And um, you can die cut that whole thing out. There's words, sending flowers, and thinking of you. Words fail to express my gratitude. Thank you so much. And then there's this little bitty sort of detail, um, background, forming, something image. And it's basically three lines made up of four, like you drew little tiny, tiny asterisks with a thin marker four dots, four dots offset, and four more dots. So that's that. Uh, so that is seven stamps. And then the dies, you can cut out all of the stamped images. You can cut out individual pieces to form flowers from die cutting only. Lots of pieces there for that. Centers, like it's very detailed because these flowers have like little, they have like their center and then they have these little things coming out of the side of the center. I don't know what the, the, the word for those is, like the scientific word. Um, cut out the stamped images, single leaf, single stem. So yeah, so it's basically cut out the stamped images, make your own flowers. That is uh, 15 dies, simply zinnia. Okay, so we have that. With this suite, we have the adhesive back shiny sequins. I should have looked up the colors because they don't list them on here. They're probably the colors in this paper, so let me look. They're just sequins, small and large, four colors, gorgeous, shiny, of course. Um, so they're probably berry burst, lemon lime twist, lemon lolly, and pumpkin pie. I'm guessing those are the colors because they're those colors are in this paper. Gorgeous. And then we have the Zinnia 3D embossing folder. It's a six by six folder. It is the thick one, so 3D. And it's just like a background of Zinnias all over embossed. It's gorgeous. I did this one in Lemon Lolly so y'all could see it. And I just picked a color from the designer paper so I can use that later. <laughs> When I'm designing. Um, okay, here's the paper. Simply Zinnia, I mean, sorry, Flowering Zinnia's 12 by 12 paper. The colors listed are 
Berry Burst, Blackberry Bliss, Flirty Flamingo, Highland Heather, Lemon Lime Twist, Lemon Lolly, Melon Mambo, Mossy Meadow, Old Olive, Petal Pink, Pumpkin Pie, and Real Red. Side note, just in case I did not make it clear, you can purchase these March 5th if you're not a demonstrator. Purchase March 5th. They will be while supplies last. Now Stampin' Up! secretly knows which ones they're going to keep around a little longer, but they don't really tell us. So, okay, so we got a sheet of just the tops of the flowers, um, the zinnia flowers in like berry, purples, oranges, etc. And then sort of a flirty flamingo lighter background, bright green and dark green leaves coming out. They're all overlapping each other, so it's not really a great hand cut it out. Like you can pick like, for example, you cut out this flower, but then you cannot, this is, you know, you killed that one and that one. So you can cut out some of them, but not all. Okay, the back of that one is pumpkin pie with lighter pumpkin pie. Little, the little, I'm sure this is supposed to look like the little things in the center of the flower. But to me, it looks like you just drew a bunch of little asterisks all over with a semi-medium thick marker. Little bitty ones. Random patterns, not even. Ooh, this is my first time looking at this paper ever and everything I'm opening today. I intended to open it all yesterday, but I was too busy and that did not happen. Stamen, that's kind of what I was thinking, Janet. So Janet says stamen. And uh, there's just a bunch of those around the outside edge of the center of the flower. They look like little bitty stamens. Yes, Janet, thank you. Uh, I ordered the latte sweet. Love the colors in that sweet. Yes, I think the latte is the most fam uh, famous, popular. <laughs> I like that I said famous though. Okay, next sheet. Top, oh, sorry, it's one of those you can cut it in half and have the same exact design on each side. Flowers growing up from the bottom. All the colors, greens, purples, oranges, reds. Just a bunch of these flowers. They're really thick designs, by the way, on both of these. Like, obviously, they're colored in because it's designer paper. But, I don't know, they're just not, not they are not like super fine outline -y type flowers. They're really thick. Okay, the back of this one is, ooh, it's like a lemon lime twist with a pattern evenly distributed, just pattern all over. You could do this, not floral at all. Um, it's like a lighter lemon lime twist, or it might be lemon lolly. And it's like, uh, it's circles, about half inch circles. And the way they're drawn, they overlap each other and make a little shape. So they just draw, draw row after row of circle and overlap them. Okay, and we have this sheet. It is just white background with little bitty, bitty, baby, tiny, fourth inch zinnias all over it. The, they'll either be solid purple or solid red with yellow centers or orange centers and green leaves. Both greens, light and dark. That's the background. And then the back is like a petal pink, although I can't remember if that was a color listed, but it looks like petal pink with white polka dots all over. Actually, they're not polka dots. Let me look close. They are um, the tiniest flowers you've ever seen with a hole in the center, but they're white. So it looks like polka dots if you just glance. Um, let me look real quick. I feel like petal pink was not, oh, it is listed. I'm wrong. Petal pink is listed. Okay. Ooh, this next one is gorgeous. It is, I think, real red. Like a light, real red background with only real red. More of an outline type. Put this here in case I need it again. Of these flowers. So you have the stems coming up and then the flowers drawn in red. No other color. Gorgeous. This one's really gorgeous. Again, they kind of overlap too much to be cutting them out. Or you can might find one or two to cut out. But then you lose other stuff. Back of this one, it's just real red with light real red um, pluses and dots all over, hand drawn really tiny, like fourth inch or less, plus dot, plus dot, row after row. Oh, this is nice. Oh, this is going to go with the jungle. Oh my gosh, has anyone made a card already? I bet they have with um, Jungle Pals. Oh, anyway, sorry. That's a like a, a inspiration moment. Okay, this is 
lemon lime twist background and then the mossy meadow old olive just growing from top to bottom stems with leaves growing off of them not a flower in sight it's all green can y'all see it with the animals the jungle pals okay and then the back side is um same color scheme it's like a dark green background more like old olive with lemon lime twist diagonal hand drawn thin pen thin stripes uh oh i think my camera is yeah my camera's behind i believe okay anyway gorgeous i love this okay by the way pat says the grand floridian hotel at disney world is the best pat i totally forgot we both stayed there at the same time <laughs> we went on a stampin up trip and we it was in florida so we went early pat stayed at grand floridian with her family me april genevieve and landa stayed at grand floridian because uh well, we use someone's points. I don't know if people want me telling their information, but anyway. And yeah, it was amazing. So anyway, side note on that, Pat, I forgot we were there together. Okay, because we're like, if Stampin' Up! goes to Florida, we go to Disney first. We being me and my friends. Okay, this one is white background, medium-sized zinnias all over, similar to the first page, but they're like one and three-fourths inch. Similar to the first one, but the they're smaller flowers. The first one, they were two and a fourth inch. These are one and three fourths. And white background. So they really pop out. Uh, more of these, they don't really overlap. So you can cut them out. You can hand cut those out. Some of them are groups of two flowers. Most are single flowers. And then, of course, the leaves in all the colors. Ooh, the back of that is a purple. I think that's Highland Heather with dark purple lines going both directions kind of like a plaid except they're hand drawn they're not even so they're not perfectly straight lines and there's barely any space like an eighth inch between the lines really nice okay who wants flowering zinnia i love it love it can't wait to work with it okay um that's one of the sweets the other suite which i think this ribbon is a part of is the latte love suite this is the one that Alejandra Gomez and I will be using at the demonstrator event. Um, March 14th in Houston. You can take it to go if you can't be there in person. Um, okay, so this one has designer paper, bundle, embellishment, and ribbon. Let's start with the bundle. It is photopolymer. Let's see if they're actual size. Yes, good. I love that. So actual size pictured on the front of the case here. So this is a different coffee set than we've had before. Much more modern. <laughs> Much more like coffee houses. Very cute. Hey, Pam. Good morning. Uh, and just a reminder, if you're a demonstrator, you can get this stuff now. Okay. So gorgeous. So we have a, a like a more modern coffee cup. Total almost two inches wide with the handle by about one and three fourths tall. It's sort of rounded on bottom. It's outlined so you can color it in. And it kind of has lines drawn, vertical lines drawn on it. So it looks kind of like it's got pops out little bumps. I don't have, I don't know if I'm saying that right. But anyway, there's that. Then we have the view from the top of the coffee cup. A bigger mug looks bigger to me anyway. The opening is one and a half inches wide and there's the rim and then you can see like the edge of the handle is the view from the top and there's two different images to stamp inside there that are round one has it's like a solid circle with a heart etched out but like with the, the excess heart around it because like when the the coffee people what are they called baristas put the cream in there and make it look like a heart or more of a leaf pattern. Then we have these coffee rings, a little coffee ring stamp, a steam, sort of like a skinny line of steam coming up, coffee splatter, which you can use that for, it doesn't have to be coffee, that's a good splatter stamp. Coffee beans. This one, I believe, is that just uh, coffee to go inside this cup, and uh, it's like solid with just white, or they're not white, whatever color your paper is, lines drawn in it to make give the coffee some shape and movement but they're just straight lines 
It's going to look super cute. <laughs> Literally can't wait to play with this. Okay, there's a spoon, a single coffee bean, and then words. We have hello there. Let's catch up. Thanks so much. This one's on me. You're the best part of my day. I love it. Now these dies, you can cut out like the coffee cups, both of them. There's a circle for the inside, the, you know, the, the coffee with the heart or leaves. There's a die for the coffee that can go inside the other cup. There's a spoon die, coffee beans, basically all the stamped images. But in addition, and I don't even, I didn't look close enough. There's a French press die. So you have multiple pieces to put together a French press. I think this is not part of the French press. Tell me, y'all tell me what coffee machine this makes. I don't even know how to describe it. I need to die cut all these out and put it together. There's two small coffee cups, single coffee cups. They're about one inch wide and three fourths tall. Two of those. Um, I'm not sure what this image is. It's almost like a a um, can, but I'm sure it's something. Anyway. I have to play with this more. Linda says, love this sweet, possibly at the top of my order list. Yes, girl. Of course, you know, I can hold an order for you. I mean, I can't take the money up. That's a policy, but you can give me your list, Linda. Um, okay, so hopefully I, I know I didn't describe that super well, but I obviously need to die cut all these out and look at on Pinterest and Demonstrator Planning Place, another Facebook group you can be part of if you're a demonstrator. It's only for us. Um, and see what the heck shapes those make. There might be some samples. It looks like a carafe. Yes, it might be a carafe, Janet. Yes. There might be a picture of what it is in this paper because I have not opened this paper yet. So let's see about that. How about that? <laughs> Hello, Jennifer. Um, okay. These embellishments are adorable. Let me get it real close. Do y'all see what I'm saying? They're called adhesive back swirl dots. And they literally have little swirls on top of them. So I don't have the colors. I'm going to try to pull it up real quick. I mean, it shouldn't take me. It should be easy. Ordering. No. Menu. Shop products. Online exclusives. And of course, I can see all the new stuff. <laughs> Only demonstrators can. Um, let's see. Let me see. Let me see. First of all, I'm going to look at these samples real quick. Oh, no, you only gave us one sample. Okay. That didn't help. Um, <laughs> Genevieve Co. made some cute cards with this yesterday in the demonstrator planning place, by the way, if y'all are a demonstrator. Uh, what was I looking at right here? Adhesive X swirl dots. Let's see what colors. Pecan pie, petal pink, and white. Pecan pie, petal pink, and white. And then the stripe, the little swirls on top are kind of brown. It was $8 adhesive X swirl dots. Okay, so they look marbled exactly, Janet. Okay, so we got that. And then this ribbon, it is called, read it, Jute Natural Polka Dot Trim Jute. So it's about a half inch wide. It is a, it's a little less than half inch. So probably two, five eighths. Um, white dots printed on it. And it's a thick, like, jute. So it is going to be like a makeup gonna make a super thick bow like, eh, and you have to twist it but it'll be cute for embellishing in other ways as well if y'all know what I mean um but it's really nice to go with this coffee stuff okay let's look at this paper and then I have like three more things to show but don't worry it's not like a designer paper where I will be going through every pattern because it's 10 o'clock and I haven't even started stamping okay um First sheet is got a pecan pie background and then the top view of coffee cups. They are uh, different colors. Let me read the colors. Calypso Coral, Early Espresso, Lemon Lolly, Lost Lagoon, Pecan Pie, Petal Pink. So you have coral, pink, yellow cups. And then the inside of the cups, look, you can die cut them out, by the way have hearts, some have star, star type images, um, the leaves, different patterns inside, and some are just coffee swir swirling around in there. 
All right, back of that one is just white with pecan pie um, coffee rings printed all over it. So it's kind of like a nice little background. The next one is white with espresso coffee beans all over it. I think they fit the die. Maybe do they fit the die? Uh, maybe not. Maybe they don't fit the die. Okay, maybe not. Uh, and the back of that is like a plaid with petal pink background. I don't remember if that's an official color, but that's what it looks like with thick lemon lolly stripes and thinner petal pink and calypso coral stripes. Am I saying the right colors? I don't know. That was the back of that one. Um, ooh, this next one's super cute. So we have, it's like a, a pecan pie background with little espresso coffee beans sprinkled around. And then it's coffee mugs with just coffee inside. Not the same shapes as the dies. Not the same shapes as the dies, but you could totally hand cut them out and they're yeah, not the same. Uh, they're just different fun shapes of coffee mugs. They're in yellow, lagoon, coral. The back of that is white with tiny, tiny coffee cups, uh, spoons, and uh, coffee beans printed all over. Very tiny, like fourth inch at the most. Okay, here's a nice background. It's a pecan pie with basically splatters of espresso coffee all over. Kind of an even pattern if you really look at it. Back of that, Lost Lagoon, distressed with white stripes going only one direction. Sort of distressed white stripes painted on. Just a nice background. Ooh, this one is good. You could just cut this, cut, it's like marble, but with coffee colors, pinks and browns, light browns and light pinks. Um, you could just cut that circle or the other one for the inside of the coffee mugs and boom, have some insides there instead of stamping. Of course, it just makes a great background. Nobody will know it even is a coffee theme. It also has splatter, brown, like pecan splatter all over it. Backside, a very light marble background of white and super light brown. And then going in lines up and down. Um, it's like a if you drew hearts, if you painted little bitty hearts, like half an inch, and then um, drug your paint brush through it, your marker through it, whatever, and connected them all together. So they go one direction, then the other direction, and back and forth. Last but not least, a really, really nice marble type pattern with dark early espresso and dark pecan pie. Again, you can take these dies and cut out the, the insides of the coffee mugs or do other stuff with it. Also has some splatter on there. And then the back of that one is a Calypso coral with white coffee beans all over. Love this. Can't wait to work with this as well. Love, love, love. Okay, so that was the latte love sweet. Okay, almost done. Love the ribbon. What's the paper from? These are new Xana um, online exclusives that demonstrators can order right now. Customers can order March 5th. Latte love, or well, the paper was called something else, but okay. Um, here is another bundle called Happy Little Things. The bundle comes, this is our smallest little die container I've seen us have so far. You, the dies have two dies, Happy Little Things dies. They are two little banner dies. You can see they have some detail on the ends only, the top and bottom cut straight. They are, my ruler. One, two, like three eighths inches tall, and then two and three fourths long and two and a half long. One is a banner, one has like little torn ticket edges. They both have stitches at each end only. Then straight lines, top and bottom. So happy little thing, stamp set uh, obviously has words that can fit in there. This is only words. They're much larger than pictured on the front of the stamp case here. So celebrate is three and a half inches long, three, uh, sorry, half an inch tall. Wishing is similar. It's a little bit 
taller, about a half inch taller, wishing. Uh, you, the word you, two and a fourth by almost one inch tall. The word love, about three fourths by two inches. And then there's all these smaller words that can fit in those banner dies. So I'm going to read them off of here because it's hard to see on this photopolymer sheet. So celebrate, there's two stamps, the solid, all caps, just a solid celebrate, and then the outline of the exact same image. So obviously you can stamp those right on top of each other and get the outline color or use them separate. You could also color in the outline one. Wishing, same thing, love, and you all have two images each. Then we have for the smaller words, in cursive, comfort and strength, you are incredible and you did it. And in a lowercase typewriter, type print, a peaceful season. Look at that. We got Christmas right in here. A speedy recovery, the best day ever, the little things and happiness. So all occasion. And then there's two little um, images you can use to embellish these that go together or separate. They're like two little four point stars or diamonds, but with the curved insides. One's an outline, one's solid, use them together or separate. Okay, happy little things. I think it's awesome. I also just wanted to see what kind of case these two dies came in, so I ordered it. <laughs> this one, I know, right, Linda? Pets and more, y'all. I literally told Landa, I said, let me look closer and see if it looks like Britty or not. Okay, it looks like Britty, so I'm getting it. Pets and more. This is a reversible stamp set. So you actually get nine stamps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. But the shadow it shows here on the front is where you can um, literally mount this on your clear block backwards. So I would mount it that way and you can stamp the shadow, for example, of this owl and clean it off, peel it off and do it this way and put the detail on top. Uh, reversible stamps. So there is a cat, an owl, a fox, a dog, a rabbit. There's a tennis ball, a fish, a paw print, and a bowl with a paw print on the front. The animals are a little bigger than pictured here. So they're about two inches tall by one and a fourth wide. The cat has stripes on the side and head and tail and little dots on its front. These animals definitely can be colored in if you don't use the shadow. Um, there's an owl. They're all kind of the same, a very similar shape, but yet there's no die or punch. Um, the fox has more solid parts on it where its hair would be darker, like it's super solid. Um, the dog is like, I don't know, have a clue what kind of dog, but it has long, hairy ears. I don't know how to describe that dog very well. <laughs> They're all sitting facing front, like if when an animal sits with its little legs in the front of it. Um, and then the rabbit has a black eye or dark eye, you know, a circle around one eye, dark feet, two ears sticking up. So it's pets and more. It's super cute. You just put it on your list. Put it on your list. Yes, cute pet stamp going on the list. Exactly. Okay, last but not least, I saved the best for last because even I, I just ordered this because it was glimmer paper. Honestly, didn't even read anything. I just ordered it. And then I saw a picture yesterday somewhere. I said, oh, this has white in it. This is called Berry. Oh, okay, it's the most boring name ever. Oh, it's called Glimmer Specialty Paper, I guess. But look at the colors. Berry Burst, Old Olive, and White. I've been saying we need white glimmer paper. We also need silver, but, you know, one step at a time. Berry Burst, Old Olive, and white. There's one of each in here. Y'all get this while you can. Get it while you can. White glimmer paper. I just was wanting to use that, like, two weeks ago. Because we only had white glimmer paper. Okay, I'm going to move on because we're, like, maybe a Cocker Spaniel. Yes, Janet, that does look like a Cocker Spaniel. Linda also. Deanne also. I knew that was, a, I mean, like, I know what Cocker Spaniels look like. I just forgot. Um, so, yes, y'all. Y'all are right. Okay. I'm going to move on to my stamping because 
it's going to be a long video. I'm going to try to go through the stamping fast. We'll see what happens. Um, we're going to make three cards today with the ice cream swirl bundle. These cards are free with a purchase from me in this month, February. This is my online ordering special. You will get a packet mailed to you next month if you order $25 or more using the host code. It'll get emailed out. It's been emailed out. It's posted in my blog, stamptherapist.com. Um, that's 25 or more with the host code. 50 or more, you also get a free full pack of the rainbow adhesive back dots. And But if you go to 150 or more, don't use the host code. I'll still give you the two gifts. Here's the rainbow dots. They're amazing. Um, 150 or more, I'll still give you the gifts, but don't use the host code and you will get a free... Um, uh, $15 or more in merchandise from Stampin' Up. Okay, Ice Cream Swirl is a photopolymer stamp set. I don't remember if I showed this before on a video. Um, photopolymer, let me see if it's actual size or not. Larger than the images shown on the front of the case here. There is a, cone, a really large ice cream cone image. Where's the ruler? Literally just moved it somewhere. Okay, uh, the bottom of the cone, I should say, and there's a die to cut it out. So it's about, oh, sorry, two and a fourth wide by three inches tall, the cone. There's the top part of the ice cream, huge. It, it's an outline. The cone is outlined as well. It has the grid marks on the bottom, you know, the diagonal grid. Uh, the cone, I mean, the ice cream part is about three inches tall by two and a half, two and three fourths wide, and it has lines drawn in it. So you can color it, you can stamp it just like that, whatever, but it does have lines drawn to give you the shape of the ice cream. There is a small strawberry image outline, one and a fourth inch tall, a small cherry, a little bit about the same size as the uh, strawberry, actually outline a small donut in comparison to the size of this ice cream cone the donut is about an one and an eighth inch wide it has stripes drawn on it but it's to be colored in there's a confetti or what is that called sprinkles stamp so some really solid no need to color in triangles lines dots and large dots there is a straw. It's just a portion of the straw that would be sticking out of, you know, your, your Sunday or whatever. It's one and three fourths inches tall and it has lines drawn on it. Like it's really um, artistically drawn. Like it's not just straight lines. And then the words, make a wish. Thanks for everything. Hope your day is sweet. And then the dies. You can cut out, I'll be showing this today, but you can cut out a detailed ice cream cone where you don't even have to stamp. Um, it's You would put these two dies together, the detail and the outline. You can cut out the stamped ice cream cone, or you can cut out this full piece with or without the detail, and it folds in half. And I'll show this at the very end today on my last project that I'm not going to make. It makes like a little tag that opens. It's the it's basically two of the ice cream cone with a score mark in the middle folded over. Again, I'm going to show you this detail. Okay, um, then we have the die, of course, that cuts out the top of the, the actual ice cream part. Well, there's another die you can cut uh, separately. I'm showing them together, but really you don't do it together like that. You cut it separately and it adds whatever color you cut this in detail on top of that ice cream so again you don't have to color it in or stamp it you just glue these two pieces together which you'll see on my samples there's a little cup that you that goes on the bottom of the ice cream cone die scalloped on top straw donut strawberry cherry and then there is a confetti die that will cut out little pieces of confetti shaped just like these i don't know that it's supposed to match up with the stamped image um I don't think it is, but I'm not 100%, but I think you just cut out confetti pieces and use them. Okay, so there is the bundle. I need to jump in. So 
Um, I am going to use these rainbow dots on my projects today. We're going to start here with card one. Card one. Yum, yum. Oh, did I not say yum, yum? Thank you. Yes, though also, so make a wish. Thanks for everything. Hope your day is sweet and yum, yum. Yes, good catch. Um, card one. So I have a bubble bath card base. Totally hid these cards for myself. Bubble bath card base. Five and a half by eight and a half. Take your eight and a half by 11. Cut it in half. You'll get two cards out of one piece of paper. I don't see a bone fault code there. Um, easy to measure. And you will get, or they will fit into the invitation size envelope. It's just Stampin' Up's medium envelope. Super easy. Okay. Stuff stuck everywhere. Medium envelopes. I like the clear ones. We also sell the white and vanilla ones. Um, so two out of one. Very economical. That's my card base. Um, and this will be an up and down portrait card. My next layers are... Uh, and as a reminder, make sure you make a comment on this video, even on replay, because you can then um, be entered to win these three cards I'm going to make. And even on re Ooh, excuse that, even on replay, you can be entered. So make sure you comment. Okay, the next layer is basic white. I will have all of these measurements on my blog at 11 a.m. Central. So there's the blog address, stamptherapist.com. Um, the host code for, t for right now, February 1 through 15 is right down here to get this class packet free mailed to you in March and it will be for four cards. Okay, so all the measurements on the blog, but this white piece is embossed with the painted texture embossing folder. My camera's acting up. The next layer is designer paper. This is the lighter than air six by six designer paper in the mini catalog. By the way, obviously the ice cream stuff is from the mini catalog, but if you did not know that, it's in this book. Technically the stuff in here is while supplies last. This book only goes till the end of April. If you want that stuff, get it now, just in case, just in case. I'm not saying, but you know, Okay, so lighter than air is the hot air balloon designer paper, but most of the designs don't have hot air balloons on them. So it's a great spring ice cream Easter designer paper. I used it in my Easter stuff. I used it in my ice cream stuff and the hot air balloon class. Um, you get all these pastel colors, dots, clouds, uh, stripes, chevrons, flowers, scallops. Uh, by the way, you also get, I believe, eight, six or eight sheets of each design. You get a lot. Um, so it's really useful because it is six by six uh, scallops. There are diamonds, diagonal stripes. You get more than just four sheets of each paper is my point. Okay, so this is a, a pattern that is diagonal stripes of all the colors, lemon lolly, bubble bath, balmy blue, white, pool party, fresh freesia, petal pink. I think I said most of them, all these beautiful pastel colors. So that is about a two and three fourths inch wide strip that's gonna go over here on the left side of the front of this card. So you'll have a nice section of the white showing, which by the way, of course, I think this looks like ice cream, this painted texture embossing folder. Okay, I have a scrap of pet of bubble bath pink. So I can die cut, um, stamp and die cut from it. I have a scrap of pool party to stamp and cut from. And then in your packet, we will pre-die cut these pieces for you. One is the fine, oh, hold on, let me say the correct name, soft shimmer specialty paper in our annual catalog, which does come with bubble bath, berry burst, lost lagoon, pretty peacock, and night of navy. So you get all those colors of shimmer paper from the annual catalog. 
And many of these colors, at least three of them, in my opinion, match really well with this up in the air designer paper. So definitely check that out. Add it if you don't have it. It's going to match really pretty. And anyway, we'll cut the bubble bath cup for you, the little cup that goes on the bottom of the ice cream cone. Okay, now when we cut this ice cream cone for you, you're going to need to trim it down. It scores it in the middle for folding, and it's too difficult to cut it, to die cut it perfectly at that point for you. So just trim it with your scissors or your paper trimmer. I'm going to do paper trimmer. If I can get it, I put all the samples I was showing you guys earlier, I put on this cutter. I'm going to have to look out my door, my window real quick. Someone rang the door. Okay, let's just give the yes. Um, okay, so I'm just aligning the score mark with the cut line here on my paper trimmer and cut that off. There we go. And actually, you know what? I take it back. Y'all don't even need to cut that off because it's not even going to show. Don't cut it off. It's silly. But you could if you needed to, but you don't. Okay, stamping. We're going to stamp the ice cream portion, the big old large ice cream top, which by the way, literally making these cards made me hungry the other day. Y'all know I'm already hungry right now, but that's a different story. Bubble bath ink, tap, 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 don't press hard, tap, tap, tap. Right in the middle here, you can use your glass mat studio, you can use a foam mat, or if you have a really hard table, you'll be good also. Uh, stamp that ice cream in bubble bath, and we'll die cut that out. And then I'm going to stamp make a wish in memento black ink, so just black. That's the, the black inks we sell, you can press hard on, so you can really press hard. Uh, make a wish, and this is just a scrap of pool party, we're going to hand cut that out so it doesn't have to be straight. Stuck my finger right in there because I was in a rush. Okay. If I cut this out, <laughs> of course I made complicated cards on this, or at least one of them. It's a shaker card. Okay. I cut machine. Boop, boop. You can get this with the $155 starter kit right now. So you would not get the glass mat studio, but you could pick $155 in any merchandise you want. So you could get this machine. It comes with everything you need to do all the stuff we sell. I just aligned the stamped image or the die with the stamped image. Run it through. It just takes one time through. Perfect. Laid down. Cut plate on bottom. Keep a clean one for the top. Okay, then make a wish. I'm just going to hand cut out. This does not have to be perfect. The words, it's um, handwritten in just a cute font. Like some of the letters are uppercase, some are lowercase. It's just a really cute little font. So it's not perfectly straight even as the font. So don't stress about hand cutting it out. I stamped it in black on pool party. And so I cut out each word individually. They are stacked on top of each other. Make, then A, then wish. Like for example, well, I don't know if it's a good example. Never mind. It's just some of the letters are capitalized and some are not. It's super cute. Okay, so now we have all the parts. I have a piece of this pool party ribbon, which is free with a $50 purchase. No limit. Spend 100 pick two, and so on. It's called crinkle ribbon. It is about, it's really wide, a little over a half inch. It's like seven eighths inch, two, four, hold on, one, two, four, five eighths inch wide, five eighths. It's crinkled, but it's very thin. So it ties into a bow real easy and nice. Hey, Sue, good morning. Um, so I'm going to tie that into a bow. Okay, let's put it together. 
I'm going to attach my designer paper, stamp and seal to the basic white over here on the left. Like I mentioned, make the three borders that it will form even. It's a really thin border there. Measurements, blog, 11 a.m. Central, stamptherapist.com. Also, recipe cards there, supply list, info on my ordering special, etc. Okay, a really thin border here as well. When we put this white piece on the bubble bath card base, remember it's portrait up and down. And then one tip when you make these ice cream cards, these ice creams are huge. So if you put the actual ice cream at the very tip of the um, cone, it's going to be too tall for a normal card shape. So you have to like take that into consideration. So I'm just going to add some adhesive to the back, bottom back of my bubble bath ice cream. I would love to have some bubble bath colored ice cream right now. And then uh, use the card front to measure how low to place that. I've been placing the ice cream in front of the cone. Oh, I did forget a step though. So let's go back in time. Hold on. <laughs> I did this on every cone today. I took my sponge dauber and crumb cake ink, which the cone is cut out of crumb cake cardstock, and just put uh, some ink on the edges. I personally prefer the method best where I hold the paper in the air, not lay it down on the table, and scrape against the edge of the front of the paper. There's no need to do the top, in my opinion, because the ice cream is going to cover it up. But you can do whatever you want. You can do a lot more of that than I did. Of course, most people do. I'm just going to leave that out because I did it on every card today. Um, or you can do less or the same, whatever. Whatever you want. Okay, looks a lot better like that. <laughs> and then... Um, I feel like everybody left. <laughs> okay, I'm going to place this on the card with stamp image. Wait, hold on. I can see. Okay, people are watching. Yay. Like, it feels like it's silent, even though this is a video and it is silent, if y'all know what I mean. <laughs> okay, you put how, however many stamp dimensionals on there you want. This is how many I think it needs. One, two, three, four, five, six. I use mini stamp dimensionals, but it's just my preference. You can use the large ones or regular as they're called, um, or whatever you want. It does not matter. So this cone is going to be centered in this designer paper section over here on the left. Make sure your cone is not hanging off the top or bottom of your card so it'll go in an envelope correctly. And then I have been placing this cup at the bottom. I like how it looks at the bottom, but I, oof, excuse me. I have seen people putting it up in the middle and I know what they're going for there. It's like the thing that slides up, but I just like it better at the bottom. I think it's a cup that your cone sits down inside okay, with a bottom. Your choice, you do it however you want. Um, I am going to use Stampin' Dimensionals for this. So now we're at my edges. So I'll just cut those up with my minis. Never let those go to waste. I will do about four on this one. What are we doing over here? I'm watching my coloring. Lori, yes, coloring uh, critters from Fluffiest Friends. We had a couple of people order that set on our cruise, Lori. We showed them the online exclusives and they immediately said, I want that, the, the animals. <laughs> <laughs> um, so there's that on dimensionals at the bottom there, and it's the glimmer paper, remember, so super cute. Then I'm going to tie a bow, and the only reason I pre-cut this is because this is how your kit will come when you get this free from me because you placed an online order in February, but normally I would do this from the roll to save ribbon. There's going to be some waste, but I'm going to make two bunny ears. Lots of space between the two ears, one ear in each hand. All my fingers, when I hold this ribbon, are pointing at me. Because if they're not, you probably are twisting and turning the ribbon, which is not good. You want it to be, if you let it go, it would be flat. There wouldn't be like a twist in it like that. Also, because this is one piece, you can have, you know, basically even tails on each end. 
lots of space in the middle, two things. Then right loop, right hand over left, right loop down into, gets pushed down into the rabbit hole. And then again, see I'm keeping it straight and then tie it, but you'll have to fix it, of course. Um, Sue Crowley, I need to watch replay. Want to hear about your cruise? Yes, Sue. I talked a little about it, but there will be another video coming about it. It was awesome, though. That's all you need to. <laughs> okay, so I'm just fixing this bow, and because this ribbon is sort of wider, I guess, sometimes I have to do that more than I think. So there's my bow. I do need to trim it on this side. But normally there's no waste on at least one side when you uh, tie it from the roll, which anyway, it's all good. Okay, so let me add my bow with a glue dot. <laughs> Thank you, Stacy. <laughs> Just fold that paper back. No problem getting a glue dot. This bo uh, bow is going to go right at the bottom of the ice cream. So see how we completely covered up that part that I trimmed off. So that was silly of me to do. Also, honestly, you just need to sponge like a small section on each side. So save yourself some time there as well. Make a wish. I'm going to use dimensionals again. Regular mini dimensionals. I would just do one on each of these pieces of pool party, but I am using the edges. So they are almost too big. They're like bigger, but anyway. Cut this one down because the letter A is small. I'm still, I'll tell you one thing about the cruise. My stomach is still adjusting. It's like, hello, are you going to eat today or what? <laughs> it's, he had a very small breakfast, you know, because on a cruise, there's a lot of food, a lot of food. <gasps> Oh no, Sue, that's terrible. She says she was hospitalized on her last cruise with severe food poisoning and then got shingles in my mouth after I had gotten the vaccine. No, Sue, don't tell me that. Don't tell me that. I don't want to hear that. I mean, I do. Yeah. Hopefully, you know, I'm joking, but I don't want to get shingles. <laughs> I don't want to get shingles. Um, severe food poisoning, that stinks. Luckily far as I know, our group did not have any food poisoning. Um, I'm going to add some, where is my, I'm going to add, sorry, some rainbow adhesive back dots. I'm going to use pool party. I'm going to use a small, a large one and a small one. By the way, these rainbow adhesive back dots, you get Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight different colors, two sizes of each. This is free with your $50 purchase with my um, 50 or more with my host code. Anyway, I'm just putting two pool party ones down here in the bottom right of the white section. Uh, you will not receive those if you don't get them free, but you can put any dots you want back there. Y'all know it'll look cute. You can even color dots with our, I mean, you can color embellishments with our Stampin' blends and stuff. Okay, there is card one. There's card one. Make a wish. Bubble bath. Okay, and also if you want to win card one, make sure you comment on this video even on replay. I mean, not just card one. <laughs> one, two, and three. Okay, card number two. Card two. This is our shaker card. So here are the pieces. We have a azure afternoon card base five and a half eight and a half azure afternoon fold that in half with the bone folder i am actually going to stamp on the front of that but i'll put it aside and show you these other pieces next and then we'll i'll stamp on it eventually um so i have a piece of a window sheet stamping up window sheet nice and thick super shiny see-through let's see if i need to my fingerprints off of it but other than that it's very shiny and and clear um and then the same size of 
a piece of the up in the air designer paper. I think that's what it's called. I keep forgetting. Same exact size as the window sheet. Lighter than air. Lighter than air. I think we had a product called up in the air a few years ago and it's in my head. Um, these are the same size and they're going to go part, as part of this um, shaker card. So you'll see that. Then I have a piece of pool party cardstock that's almost as tall as the card base, but skinnier. I've got the measurements in the blog, 11 a.m. Central. Um, and from the top portion of that, I die cut out the ice cream, the large ice cream portion. So it's just a hole. Just got a hole in there. Now, this ice cream cone, I do need to trim down. So you will receive something like this in your packet. Thank you, Lori, by the way. Thanks, Sue. Thanks, Terry. Um, okay, what am I trying to say? Yeah, you're going to have to trim this down. So we're cutting a portion for you of the cone with the detail cut into it. And we're going to make a smaller cup. Now you can use your uh, scissors as well. But just like before, I'm going to cut off the top on that score mark. But this time... I keep cutting these crooked on this video. I'm also going to cut off the bottom. So right below the top of the ice cream, there's three cut lines. I probably could just use my scissors. I'm just going to use my scissors. Maybe I'll just change it. Anyway, we're going to cut right where the middle cut line is. So I'm just going to make a tiny cut snip on the left and a snip on the right. And then if you have little pieces you don't like, you can fix those if you want. I don't know what I mean. And this is just, I really feel like that's too crooked. This is a small cup to put ice cream in. Small cup. So you can modify that bigger one. It's going to go right there. See? Super cute. Jeez. Definitely a hot mess on the stamping portion. Okay. Let me go ahead and sponge this. So I don't forget. Now this one, everything pretty much shows. So we'll sponge all the way around this ice cream cone. It's just a little cup. Edible cup, I guess. I can't eat ice cream cones. So I don't eat grains. <laughs> but I did used to eat them. They were delicious. Oh, and they have ice cream till like 7 p.m. every day on the ship, like soft serve like this. You can get it in a cone. It's, hmm, yes. Okay, that's free, by the way. It's included. In case y'all want to go on the cruise with us. Okay, oh, so in your packet for this class, you're going to just get a little scrap of white. It's for a couple of the cards. For this card, I need a cherry for my um, ice cream. So there's a cherry stamp. I'm into a black. Oh. These other three images, the strawberry, other cherry, and straw, are for the last card that I'm not making today. FYI. I'll show you them. Um, the cherry, I want to die cut it out. So Cut around it loosely, and I'm going to die cut it out before I color it in in case I mess up. I hope I didn't cut that too close. I might have. You know what? I'm just going to do it again, just in case. I'll just do it on the back. I think there's a good amount of white around these when you die cut them out. I don't want to recut, although hopefully now I didn't jinx myself on anything. We'll see. Put this one on here. Nice. When I got home, well, yesterday, I think. No, the day before yesterday, Scott made me a brand new batch of chili. FYI, in case y'all were worried about me starving. I'm going to eat it after this video. It's really good. Okay, so see. There is a good amount of white around there, so 
I might have been too close to the edge if I had not pre-stamped that. I did something. I've been making a lot of cards since I got home for classes, like speed designing. And I did stamp a couple of things too close to the edge on something else. Anyway, um, I'm going to color this in with sweet sorbet and sweet sorbet blends. And for the stem, I'm just going to use number 200, which is in our deep like our natural tones, the deep collection. But really, if you own the natural tone blends, there's like, I think five collections. Yeah. And each one is like a light dark and they get, you know, it goes from real light to the darkest in the families, I guess. If you have a selection of those, you can find one that's a good brown or you can use, uh, what's the other one's called? bronze you can use the bronze whatever just grab a brown it'll be fine so sor sweet sorbet you could also use any other red you want i'm going to use dark so i stamped in memento black ink this little cherry it's an outline image because that's a water-based ink and these blends markers are alcohol based and so i added some dark on the little detail lines of the cherry and then i'm going over the whole thing including the dark section with the light and that just gives you some shadowing some depth and detail looks really cute sweet sorbet is what i used and 200 and then i will add some wink of stella for my people who my wink of stella people right on top and we'll see if you'll be able to see it in the video, but it will add shimmer to that cherry. It'll, it's better in person. Can't see, can't see anything, but it looks better in person. Okay. The only other thing I have to stamp is the greeting, and it's going to go right below this cup. So let me show you something. There's like a, a, a little indention at the bottom of the ice cream cone. So when we place this cup on here, we just want to cover that up. So place that there um, for visual to know where to stamp the greeting. I wouldn't glue it down yet in case I ruin it and want to cut another pool party. And this card is going to say, hope your day is sweet. And I'll use Azure Afternoon. I never know how much ink to put on my memento pad. Um... A good question. I mean, I know how much, but I don't know how to say it. Okay, I'm just going to center this left to right at the bottom in the section below the cup. Bottom of the pool party. Azure afternoon. Hope your day is sweet. Uh, so I could demonstrate that for you. I had a, I have multiple of that ink pad and I had one the other day that was too dry and instead of re-inking it I just tossed it aside and got a different one so I could re-ink that one if I can remember though that's the problem if you can remind me at the end of the video okay oh I'm sorry I lied there is one more thing to stamp so on the sides of this azure card base I'm going to ink up the confetti image and stamp it hanging off the edge a tiny bit all the way down both left and right sides of this portrait card. It's just hanging off the edges a tiny bit so that it looks like it was printed on here instead of stamped. And this will fill in those two gaps on the left and right from the pool party strip. Also, I am alternating it every time I'm turning it upside down excuse me and then right whatever the other direction it does not really have a top and bottom because it's confetti um I will think I've just forgot to flip that one I was gonna say something else about it oh it's sort of a the whole image is sort of a rectangle so I'm stamping it the long way across here to fill in the most space I think it's fine, but let me just fill in that top and bottom there and then wipe this excess ink off my glass mat immediately so it doesn't come off on my project. Okay. 
Now, to make a shaker card, the first thing you want to do, grab my silicone sheet here just to protect, is put the window sheet behind the opening. So the opening, in this case, it could be a circle, it could be punched, it could be a square, any shape, doesn't matter. This is the ice cream. The opening, in this case, is the ice cream. I think I was going to say something else and I lost it. Um, so I put adhesive on the back side of the pool party around the opening and then I'm placing the window sheet there. It's kind of crooked, does not matter. But this is what shows the front. Then the next step is the foam, however you're going to lift it up. I'm going to use foam adhesive strips and they come in these long strips like this. They're also, when it's a new sheet, there's edges just like Stampin' Dimensionals. I've already cut those and used, sorry, cut those and used them on for, I think, the last one of these cards I made. Okay, these strips are pretty flexible. They're foam, you know, raised up strips, adhesive on both sides. But you may come to a section where instead of curving it, it would be better to cut it and then reattach it on this ice cream. Um, you don't, see like this one, you don't want to be too far away from the cutout because if you are, whatever you fill in there to shake is going to go into those holes and nobody will be able to see it unless that's a thing you're going for, which it might be. So it can be a surprise. Okay, so you just don't want that to show in the front. And obviously, I have a hole here at the top that I need to fill. Here's a scrap. And depending on what you're, I'm putting sequins in here. Depending on what you're filling it up with, you um, might need to make the it sealed super tight or it can be looser. Just so nothing falls through the cracks. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead because this piece is going to be attached here basically and so i want this bottom part not to be all flat and i want it to be raised up the exact same as my shaker so i'm going to use more of these foam adhesive strips around i need to grab my stand eraser real quick i've got something on here this is a prize you can win so we don't want it to look junky Okay, um, I'm going to put a strip, I could have just done one straight one, but I didn't realize that. I'm going to put a strip of the foam here at the top. This is more like where dimensionals would go to raise up the entire piece for my card. Just like with dimensionals, you can do as much or little as you want. Keep in mind, it could show from the sides. So I did do little pieces on my first card, and I didn't like how it looked from the sides. So more like long pieces. And then I think I'll do the same thing on these sides right here. But this isn't, this amount isn't necessarily necessary to make your card be stable but it might look better if someone turns it to the side. You can be even more neat than I am. You know what I mean? Like be real precise and make it look like one thing. I'm not that picky. Foam adhesive strips. They're amazing. Foam adhesive strips. Shaker cards are your favorite, Carol. Okay, so normally, normally, I always, always, always tell you, <laughs> and I'm going to do it opposite this time. Normally, I always tell you, leave the piece that's going behind, which in this case is just this polka dot. It's like a pool party background with little dots all over it of all the pastel colors from the lighter than air designer paper. This is going to go behind the ice cream cutout. So simple. There's not a lot of aligning to do. But... um. 
Oh, I don't know what the butt is, but anyway. Oh, so normally I tell you, put your shaker pieces here, peel off the sticker and place this down on top. But really we don't have to do that this time because we don't have to align this perfectly. So in this one case, it's different. I'm gonna wipe this out again. I'll get my little, whatever these things are called. For my glasses I'll wipe out this window sheet um i'm gonna put my sequins in here and put this paper down here uh i am using the loose silver sequins from stampin up we won't be providing this for the free class kit um you can put anything you want in there loose silver sequins which they're just sort of filmy milky white and silver they're really pretty they're, and they're loose sequins they're not obviously sticky back um put as many or as little as you want in there you could use any anything you have to put in there um it's going to be difficult for us to provide a small amount of these to somebody so that's why okay now I'm just carefully peel the backing off of my foam adhesive strips so it'll be sticky. I'm going to go ahead and do these three sections. I mean, sorry, I'm going to go ahead and basically peel off everything at the top here. And then when I place this down, what I'm mainly concerned with is don't go past the pull party at the top or sides and do go high enough here that nothing is going to fall out. Although, let me reverse what I, uh, please peel up. I'm also going to try, well, actually, that doesn't matter. Sorry, I got it all stuck to my hands. I'm going to try to go a tiny bit lower than the foam adhesive strips at the top. So that can be sticky and stick to my card. But anyway, that's pretty much all you have to do. And now we have a shaker card. These sequins, sometimes they go in sideways uh, like this. So you have to like knock them down with your finger. Anyway, there it is. It's all shaky. So cute. Uh, I can peel off the rest of this now. And I'm going to add adhesive to the back of the designer paper there. That's the back of the shaker. And put this on my card front. So there will be some space top to bottom. I've got the measurements for this on the blog all, uh, at 11 a.m. Central in just a couple minutes. Um, and then you can see the sides there. So that is how you make the shaker, of course. And then I will add my ice cream cone flat. Remember to put it high enough to cover up that little point in the ice cream shape there. Then the cherry I did add flat. Hot mess on the back. Um, just because this is so lifted up already. And I didn't put it at the very top of the cone because or the ice cream because then it would stick off the top of my card. So I'll put it over here to the side a little bit, actually. A little more like right there on the left side, top left. And last, actually two more things. I am going to add some dots, which you can decide if you think they're necessary or not. But um, also a bow. So you will have some ribbon in your packet. It's a little bit of a shorter piece of the pool party crinkle ribbon. Free with a $50 purchase. No limit. Um, I'm going to tie another bunny ear bow. You can see how I did that on the last card if you need instructions. But this will be a smaller one. So that's why it was less ribbon. And your packet will have less ribbon. And um, just... I. I'm just adjusting it so that it's, um, actually, I think I want it smaller than that, so that the loops are even. I keep adjusting it. Super cute little bow. Let me trim these in some. Let's 
sorry. I don't know where my camera is today, apparently. Yeah. And then this little bow will go in the right top corner of the ice cream cone. That. I feel like my ice cream cone is crooked, but I feel like we can fix it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Hope your day is sweet. It's a shaker. Many occasions this could fill. And then what I did is I took some of the Azure <clears throat> dots, the small ones, and I just placed like three of them. Actually, I want to go from the sheet. I placed three on the window sheet. So it's subtle. I picked the darkest color pretty much. So they show just three kind of in a triangle pattern and they're extra little toppings there. Okay. That is card number two. Card two. Hey, Donna, thanks for sharing. Thank you, Corinne. Thank you. Hello, Cindy. Good to see you, Cindy. All right. That's card two. Here is my other one. It's pretty similar. And of course, you have a chance to win this card along with the other one and this third one I'm going to make um, by commenting on the video today or tomorrow or in two weeks from now, whenever you want to comment, <laughs> whenever you watch it. Okay, card number three, card three. This one is a fun fold. Lots of pieces here. Don't worry, we'll cut them all for you. The beauty of the class. And then don't forget to have another card, the fourth one I'll show you at the end. Okay, so this card base is, I think I have this written down. We don't have to measure it. Five and a half by seven and one fourth inches. And again, these measurements will be on the blog, 11 a.m. Central. Five and a fourth, seven and one fourth, scored at four and a fourth inches. It's basically a normal card front with a little bit cut off the front. I'm going to fold it on the score mark. And so again, it's like a normal card front with a little bit cut off the side here, the front side. Then... We have some pool party and basic white to go on the inside, which you can see how that's going to show on the front. Measurements vlog, 11 a.m. Central. Then to make this even more of a fun fold, we have a piece of pool party here. It is four and one fourth by four and a half. And then on that longer four and a half inch side, we scored it at one and one fourth inches four and a fourth four and a half scored at one and a fourth and then so i'll fold on that score mark and this whole piece is going to get glued under this pool party that's on the inside that so then the card opens from the right side and then the left side okay so then we have a piece of the again lighter than air designer paper to go on the front left basic white flap. This is the, it's, I believe this is um, bubble bath background with little diamonds all over in an even tiny little diamonds pattern of all the colors in that designer paper. Um, then when we close that other fun fold part, there'll be a piece of basic white to go on top of that, that has been embossed with the uh, basics 3D embossing folders, which are these three folders here. I used the one that's got the little hash marks on it, but you also get the large polka dots and these little almost like starfish flowers. You can see that. Mm. Hard to see. I think my camera's not focusing, but anyway, that's a three pack. These are in the online store only. They're, I would get them. I would get them. Okay. So that's kind of how the card's going to look like that. There's a piece of crumb cake here as a scrap that I'm going to stamp and die cut from. A strip of basic white for my greeting. And then again, pre-cut for you. 
the top of the ice cream in bubble bath and then we emboss that with that painted texture embossing folder and then basic white i cut out the detail of the ice cream which um i showed that die at the beginning it just cuts out like more swirls so you can do that in chocolate white whatever color you want and <clears throat> it's that die that looks like this and then so with that being embossed with the painted texture folder and then this on top, like you don't have to stamp anything for the ice cream, the top part. Okay, so I'm going to stamp my greeting and the bottom of the ice cream cone. So ice cream cone will be crumb cake. And notice when you stamp this ice cream cone, it just ends. There's no top. So there is a top section left and right, that bigger part at the top but um, there's nothing across the top. And that is because of how the die is. But it does put, again, those diagonal lines at the bottom, the like cone shape. So I stamped that in crumb cake. Uh, my greeting, what does this card say? It says, thanks. And I'm gonna stamp that in pool party. How we doing? Hey, Corinne, I know. <laughs> She's like, I'll catch the replay video is longer today than my already long videos. Pull party, tap, 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 thanks, is just going to go right in the center of that pull party. I mean, basic white cardstock in pull party. It's just a little strip. I've got the measurements on the blog. Um, and I will trim each end of thanks at one angle, whichever angle you prefer. And each end is trimmed the same direction. So it's like a little banner, but easier banner. Okay, I need to die cut out this cone. So if you get this class kit, you'll need to own the dies or you can hand cut that out. And of course, hand cut the ice cream on that other card if you need to. But we do cut, for this class kit, we cut what we can for you. So I've got that there. This die. Again, it makes like a, a folded piece, but we're just going to cut the stamped part. So I need to align it really well, pay attention, look where I'm placing it, obviously. So the bottom, I, I'm a tiny bit off, but the bottom is aligned and you see how the top just kind of ends there, but you still get the shape from the die cut. Okay. Now on this one, there's no need, you can trim this off, but we're going to put this ice cream on top. So really, I don't think there's a need. Let me just sponge the edges. This one more um, of the side show than that one. So I will go all the way around. So even though I stamped this one, I'm still going to use the sponge dauber and the crumb cake ink all the way around, except for the top because that won't show. Uh, and it also helps like if you die cut crooked like I did. It's, it's not crooked. It's slightly off. If you do that, you know, it helps disguise that. keep forgetting I aim that for the die cutting and then I forget to put it back y'all can read all about my event with Alejandra down here when I do that okay oh so you have two about four four and a half inch maybe four and a half inch pieces of the pool party ribbon and now we're ready to just assemble this card oh I did stamp I forgot I stamped a greeting in the inside so this says thanks on the outside for everything on the inside. I'll do that in pool party. Obviously, you can make cards with this and give like a ice cream gift card. <laughs> um, 
obviously, but you know. And why is the cone double dipped? Are you talking about are you talking about this, Janet? Why is it like this? Let me know if that's what your question is, because I'm going to show you that on the last card. Um, yes, it makes like a, a tag, basically. And I'm going to, I will show you that on my last card if, Janet, if, okay, good. Yeah, I'm going to show you. I'm going to make y'all stay around. And I'm getting stuff all over. Let me just stamp that again. Hold on. Um, okay, so thanks for everything. Yeah, and I think Stampin' Up! was just like, um, on that, Janet, they were like, we're not going to make two dies for the cone. We'll just make the one, and they can use it like this when they don't want the whole thing. <laughs> I'm sure that was their thinking. Okay, so this thanks for everything is on a piece of white. Again, measurements, camptherapist.com along with recipe cards and supply list. So I will attach the white to the pool party. Now, before I attach this inside my card, I need to add this flap. So I'm going to add a couple of strips of adhesive on the part of the flap that's going to touch the back of this piece right here. I'm just centering this pool party fold flap whatever this is called on the right side center it top to bottom but it's attached on the right it's not centered by the way it's too high um on the right side of this for everything pull party piece now i can add adhesive to the back and attach this inside this card base which has that flap or fold on the left side So it makes that shape. Now we'll just decorate it. So I'll, I will add the designer paper to the front left flap, of, which is white in this case. Sometimes when you make these cards, the base would be color, colored cardstock. In this case, it's white. Then I have that embossed white rectangle to go on the pool party rectangle over here on the right. So also, when it's closed, it just looks like a bunch of layers, which pr looks pretty cool. And then um, the silicone. So I added adhesive to the back of the die cut white ice cream details. And attach that to the bubble bath. pre cut ice cream top. Again, I'm going to measure how tall to place this ice cream cone based on the height of the card. So I'm not gluing it to the card yet. I'm just getting that visual measurement. Hopefully that makes sense. You could also use a ruler, obviously, five and a half inches tall for that. I'm going to, before I put this down on my card, stick the ribbon to the back. So you have two pieces of ribbon, about four and a fourth, four and a half inches long each. It's the pool party girl grain free with $50 purchase. Hell no. Then it's, um, <laughs> I love that, Melissa. Uh, sorry, they're both cut with an angle on one end. So I am going to fold. Forget. Anyway, I'm going to fold, uh, bend this ribbon up and make like an S basically. You all know what I mean. And then I want that to go right about here in the back left of the ice cream cone, more up in the pink ice cream section. So I've just put adhesive on the back of the cone and I'm sticking this to it. I can move this if I change my mind in a minute. I'm going to fold the next piece the exact same way of ribbon. And then I'm going to turn it, I guess. How many degrees is that? I'm turning it like halfway around. So it's upside down. And then I'll figure out where that ribbon needs to go to look as if it was one continuous piece. And I'll put adhesive on the back of the ice cream cone and place it there. 
So this one I'm going to pull out a little bit further. And that popped off, no problem. Just stick it back down, add some adhesive. The whole point of doing this, by the way, in case you're like, what the heck, so much trouble, is you use way less ribbon that way. So it looks super cute. It looks off on the video, but in person it's correct. Like it's how I want it. Um, now I'm going to add Stampin' Dimensionals to this and stick it on here on this white piece. So the, the cone is taller than the white piece. So just make sure you keep your dimensionals within that section. Uh, do add Stampin' Dimensionals. Okay, that's the first with the ribbon folding over like that. Over the ribbon and touch the paper and ribbon at the same time. Secure it down a little bit more. Again, I don't want my dimensionals at the tip top or the bottom of the ice cream cone. So I made my sort of defining marks there. Now I won't go higher or lower than that. I just need more dimensionals. We we'll have one full one left. Okay, that's about how many I'm going to put. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I could, I would have used the minis if I had not run out and be using these edges now. The mini dimensionals work fine and the large ones work fine. Or you can cut the large ones in half or you can do, oh, I'm a hot mess with this ribbon, whatever you want. Again, pay attention, top and bottom, going over the top or bottom of the card. So we've got that. Our greeting says thanks. We're going to put adhesive on the back right, back of the right, dimensional on the back of the left, and it will go partially on the cone, partially hanging off the left side of the cone attached to this white and pull party outside piece. And the only other thing I need is some dots, and this card is done. And then I'll show you how the thing works with the other, with that die. And I think that's all I have to show you. Woo. Okay, I'm going to use pull party dots. This is a free class you can get free with your online order with me this month. I'm putting these two dots, small and large, pull party down on the bottom right of the ice cream cone the card dun, 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 dun. why is my camera acting up <laughs> i think it might i don't know what's going on i think i should have start restarted my computer before i went live but i didn't okay i can't find what i'm looking for so um so these are three of the four cards from the free class you can get this month with me the fourth card is a card but also, it's a little baby card. So this one, when you die cut the full ice cream cone base die, you get two sides and it scores it down the middle and you fold it in half. It makes a great tag. Um, you could, you know, punch a hole in the, like basically right here. And tie that to a gift and have your to and from in there. Um, it's a cute, just a little card. I've actually seen where people made it into a larger card. I was actually going to put it on a card and then I realized you can't really open it because of the ice cream part. I mean, unless you tuck the ice cream behind it. So I don't know. Um, but what they did is sort of made a shorter card. So they basically made their card shorter. That way you could open it here and here. So I've seen that. Um, this says when you open it, so it's the cone on bottom, open it, hope your day is sweet, just stamped in crumb cake in there. I did use both dies, so we had the detail, but you could stamp it as well to do this. You could stamp and then die cut the whole thing. Either one works. Um, and then just pull party ice cream with white on top and then a strawberry and a cherry and a straw. Here's what the back looks like. So I have all that strawberry straw stuff in the front part. part. 
back looks like that. There's the front. This will be one of your projects if you get this free class kit from me in March for your February orders. All right, I don't know how to get it all on the screen. Um, so Janet, I think, was asking. I can't remember. I hope that helps. It is um, super simple to make that. Again, you just cut the whole thing instead of cutting only a portion. So that's it. Hey, uh, Mary Jo, hello to you. I think, ooh, Janet says, I think the card layout is called the Joy Fold. That one, I have no clue. It could be. I've never heard it called anything. This is what um, she's talking about, I assume, this one right here. Apparently, that's the Joy Fold. I call it, I copied it from Alejandra. <laughs> but the fold, not the card, not the design. I made that design. I can't get these all on here, but y'all get the idea. Thank you, Janet. Awesome. Um, all right. Well, I hope you guys have enjoyed today. I know it was longer, but I, if you missed it, if you just came in, I showed all my new product and I do think it's worth watching if you haven't seen it in person, um, that I got from the online exclusives and I don't own it all, but I own a lot. Also, don't forget over on my blog is the recipe cards for today's cards. I even made a recipe card for this extra guy that I did not make on the video today. Um, you can look at those on the computer or print them like I did. If you ever see mistakes, let me know and I will correct them. Measurements are here and on the blog. The entire supply list is on the blog. Um, and info, of course, about my ordering special and stuff is there. I was going to look at these online exclusives. So one, two, three, four, five, six. I think six things I did not order. One, two, three, four, five, six. I didn't order, but I showed everything else. Um, yeah. So if you want to go back and watch that, if you missed it, recipe cards on the blog everyone have a great day thank you lori thanks janet thanks lori uh janet i'm glad that did help you thank you cindy and a second cindy and carmen and d hello d good to see you d another cruiser um <laughs> linda thank you i'm trying to make sure i didn't miss anybody here donna Thank you and glad you made it. Does it make a shape card? Yes, we talked. Sorry, we did discuss it. Corinne, thank you. All right. Well, everyone, thank you so much. Oh, re-ink. Thank you, Janet. Okay, I'm going to do one thing real quick that was requested. Let me walk away <laughs> and grab something. And if y'all are bored with this, you don't have to stay. But someone asked about re-inking memento ink. And it's not, I don't have a science thing about it. It's just what I do. Let me find my re-inker, which I have about 20 of. Always keep those in, on hand. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Okay. Put those to the side because that's what y'all can win. Okay. So someone asked, they, they said they never know how much ink to put in a memento ink pad. So this is what the re-inker looks like. Of course, Stampin' Up! sells it. So buy it from us because, of course. Um, so what I do... I do this on the table, but put this here and I start squeezing. And I do about that much. It'll soak in pretty quick. Uh, and then I test it. You don't want to ever over ink any pad. Not, and I don't mean over ink in a way that it oozes out. I mean, like it's unnecessary. How much are you going to stamp with it right now? Does that make sense? So if you're about to just stamp a couple of cards and be done, we don't need to be <laughs> inking it for a month's worth of stuff because it's going to soak down in there. Um, so I'm going to test it. This was one of my pads, I believe. Yeah, that I rejected for when I was making several cards yesterday and the day before. I was just like, well, you have 20 more, Jennifer. Just grab a new one instead of bothering to re-ink it. It did not look good. And this is a really thick stamp, this Make-A-Wish. So, um, so yeah, that's what I do. And, but I test it. And if that's not enough ink, 
I do what I just did again. My reinkers last all of mine last a really long time. I just shook it on accident, but it's about this full still. Um, they last a really long time. More than you thought, Sue. Okay, good to know. It And the funny thing is, it did kind of look like a lot, but it's hardly any out of the bottle. I can't really show it properly. But this bottle is up to about here right now. Um, but I do, especially with Memento, but with all of my ink pads, I always want some ink on hand. So when this one, yeah, this pad is very hard. Like, and that's just how it is. Like, whatever, the company that makes it, <laughs> it's firm. <laughs> Um, so when this one starts getting to about here with where my thumbnail is, I order a new one. Same with my colored ones, um, because I never want to get caught with, I have to re-ink something and it uses it all and I need more. Um, obviously though, I do stamp, I stamp a lot, but then my customers use my ink pads too. So, you know, more for most stampers, an ink refill will last almost a lifetime <laughs> of any color. But anyway, I hope that's helpful. I appreciate you guys so much for, you know, just supporting me, watching my videos. Um, and the questions are great. I love that. So um, thank you, guys. Yes, thank you, Sue. And I am going to say goodbye and eat my chili and do all that stuff I'm supposed to do with the video, like add the timestamps and stuff. So have a great day and a great week. I should be back next Thursday, 9 a.m. Central. I will see y'all then. Have a great day. Thanks, Janet. Bye. <laughs>